Good morning, boys. How do we sleep? Good, good. Good, yeah. Look at that. Uh, the windshield cover blocks out a pretty good amount of light. Our only culprit now is this kitchen window. I never made blinds for it. It's pretty bright because of that, but the door's covered. Everything else is covered. But it's still pretty bright in here. Eight o'clock alarm just went off. I woke up these lazies. Bailey's getting dressed in there. Um, what else? Dad's making oatmeal. Got the heater on. It got a little chilly last night. I turned the heater on in the middle of the night. And then uh, turned it on just now this morning when everybody's waking up. Let them warm up. Okay, here's video evidence that Bailey's alive today with her patented uh, hairstyle. I don't know what that's about, but that's the Bailey style. Um... But, uh, yeah, oatmeal. Dad just borderline lost his shit with the RV here. Good thing that no one films Dad because Dad's the filmer, huh? Yeah. yeah, we got the, I put an inverter in the old motorhome. Run off the batteries so I can run things, you know, like the microwave without having to turn the generator on. But, uh, I don't know, so the kids are eating like lukewarm oatmeal. But I just didn't want to turn the generator on, but apparently the batteries were getting old or whatever, which is fine. But then the the battery alarm just kept going off. Can't clear it. I get it. There's an alarm. That's a great idea. But let me shut it off if I want to, you know, risk my life. Anyways, so Dad's halfway better now. Um, and Dad's oatmeal's cold, but whatever. Tomorrow, for the next time we have oatmeal, we'll just cook it on the stove. Uh, a couple things I forgot to talk about yesterday, guys, that I wanted to mention to the uh, lovely viewers. So, the funny video, funny part of the video was uh, Bailey and Jameson on the wheelchair race. Yeah. And because Dad was, uh, Dad and Cooper did it too. Um, but I, didn't, I guess I didn't ask you guys to film it. You should have. But Cooper, that was hard, huh? Yeah, I was I was near stroke territory, near heart attack. You know, so that would probably would have been good to film because I was dying. That race was longer than it needed to be. <laughs> yeah, we had like three meters left. Like nine feet or something. Yeah. It took like 20 seconds. Yeah, it was, a, and was whatever the resistance they had that thing set on was a bit extreme. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about that we forgot to was at the Science Center. Well, first of all, the Science Center, for some reason, doesn't have postcards. So no one's getting postcards from the Science Center. Okay, they had these postcards, though. Um, so we fill these out to ourselves, and then we put them in a, all of them in an envelope, and we mail them to a particular address right here. And then they put these, uh, supposedly, you know, allegedly, they put these in a Blue Origin space rocket, the one that Bezos does, the phallic one, um, and they send it to outer space. And then they float in space for a minute, and then they come back down, and then they mail them back to us. And then we have postcards that have been in outer space to ourselves. So anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. We, we draw on the other side of what we think about space and this and that. So that was something else I wanted to mention, other than the fact that uh, the Science Center didn't have fridge magnets or postcards. So they need to step up their uh, tourism souvenir game. But Cause they mostly just had toys. Yeah, candy. toys and candy, which is cool. But we want some souvenirs. Um, all right, finish eating breakfast, and then uh, we'll see what the next step of our day is. Good morning. Oh, not at all, sir. I just got to film because you never know when they'll crash. It's good to film. <laughs> I was wondering why you're not on yours. Oh, because I, cause I got to catch the action. Hi, Pop. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Have a good day, sir. Okay. We're out exploring Uncle Jerry's neighborhood. And we found the guy who owns all the boats and trailers. And Bud, what did you say? He's like, who? Uncle Ray went with boats. <laughs> Uncle Ray, you threw you under the bus. 
Okay, Uncle Ray, we found your and my spirit animal. Look, he's got more boats out here. A little step side square body. Got more boats, trailers. A couple more boats. He's got a lowered square body dually. Oh my goodness. And then check out his yard. This guy is awesome. He's got an old dragster. See the old dragster there? More boats. Oh yeah, he who dies with the most toys wins, and this guy is winning. What do you think about that, Bailey? Um, I think that's pretty true for this guy. Yeah, he definitely got the memo. Uncle Ray, come visit Uncle Jerry, so you can check this place out. It's like two blocks over. Okay, well good morning. Good morning. It's, it's oh. ceremony time. <laughs> Earlier, I thought my voice was getting better, but I don't know. Yeah, you need a, a good shot of whiskey. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, can this. You, can you film it? Is it in the dark or is it too No, it's perfect. Is it? Yeah, we got a. Uh... Oh, here it is. Right here. Right yeah. here. That one. Okay, so if you can peel it off peel and then uh, that's clean enough. Is it? Yeah. Or do you want me to get some wind washer thing? Um, let me see here. I think that's good. What do you think, kids? Yeah. Kids, kids don't count anyways. <laughs> All right. So thank you for having us in Arizona. This is Sheriff Jerry in Arizona. <laughs> at the star. <laughs> And we're going to put it right yeah. there. There it goes. Yeah. Dang. Professional. Yeah. Thank and, you so much. And no white marks. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Don't be put the fun on. <laughs> no. No. Okay. In, uh, 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 Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, we're going to probably, uh, you know, we're going to do all these, and then we'll probably make a, a airplane trip out of uh, the New England. Uh -huh. I'm not going to drive back there, so we'll fly there and, like, rent a car uh, yeah, yeah. and do all those states, but... And then, these, and then yeah, these... If these ever thaw out. Yeah, no kidding. And then if these guys ever get anything better than corn and her, uh, tornadoes. Yeah. But... but uh... Look at that. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, how are you? Pretty good? So it's propane powered, huh? Yeah. So That's cool. The train just jumps off the track. No, we've got a table that comes down and we get them out. I got so. That's cool. So you just warming it up or? Yeah, we're getting ready to run. We've got to take 45 minutes to get a fire and some pressure built and then we're out on the track. Dang, 45 minutes to build the pressure, and then how long does that last, or does it maintain now? Or It lasts forever until I run a stop and I run out of fuel, which would be propane. I've got enough tank today to uh, run me a few laps, a few nice. miles today. And Dang, I'll take about 45 minutes to shut it down. Dang. All 45 about, minutes to build up. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All yeah, it's easy. So it's a legit, like, actual steam locomotive. Yeah, yeah, there's a fire in that. Back the boiler right there. Dude, that's cool. Here comes the track liner upper to get the train off this lift. Yeah. I'm 
much water you go through? It seems to be pretty uh, leaky. Um, probably about five, six gallons. Oh, it's not too bad. Do we hear the horn again? <laughs> That's cool. Steam locomotive, and then a bunch of cars I own have been here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that wood. Yeah, he's got one with all the, yeah. That's a the logs. Oh, Dad, these are the seats that you have in your boat. Yeah, those are boat seats, huh? Yeah. What do you think, guys? It's pretty cool. See? Whatever hobby you guys have, be passionate about it. Don't be like Dad with a thousand hobbies. Pick a couple. Pick a couple. Instead of 20. I really don't want to raise the whole thing up that high, but you know. Well, Okay, let's all, here, you know, you guys sit there, but we all sit on one. Yes, look at that house. Gotta be legit when the train's going. Yeah, don't make it too long, it's gonna fall off. 
Yeah, you gotta do it a few times. All aboard. All right, we're on train number two on a different route. We're at the back back this time. Trains are pretty powerful. Uncle Jerry. Yeah, that was pretty fun, huh? Nice and relaxing. Yeah. It's beautiful out right now. Oh, yeah. With the little wildflowers. Yeah. The weather is perfect. Yeah. Alright, the kids are going to go over here. They said they're going to let them cheap drive this train. They sit on it and do it. Sir, if you want to be a junior engineer, then they're, we're the right place. You're the train driver. So who's driving first? All right, so you take the front seat. And who's driving second? You get the middle seat. That puts you in the back. All right, make sure you pass it. Just sitting down, come all aboard. A little bit louder, Coop. All aboard. That's better. You're the engineer. He's the boss of the train. You're responsible for the whole train. So the yellow button is the horn, and that's how we talk to crews and other trains, by the beeps. So one beep is stop, two is forward, and three is backwards. Make sense? All right, so two beeps to go forward. We're going to drive to the end of the station and then back up. And just push the joystick forward. Don't hit the self-destruct button. <laughs> There it goes. Nice.
changes the switch for them. The engineer never leaves their seat. Anybody die? Nobody fell off? We're just in time. We're at the, uh, down the street from the train station is the Arizona Model Park, Model Plane Park. We're just in time to watch the flight. Say bye to Uncle Jerry. Bye, bye, bye Uncle bye. Jerry. I thought they'd never leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two nights is too long. That, that was that was like that other uh, kid, uh, TikTok. Emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So no postcards for Uncle Jerry. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah, get on the road. Be safe. And uh, you guys be good. Oh, come on. Shake it like a... There you go. I don't know how to shake a hand. There you go. Well, there's your training. There's your training. You Just have shake. a firm hand. Yeah, you don't shake it like like you got a broken wrist. Like uh, uh, do it again, Coop. There you go. Firm. Firm. There goes the knuckles. Ah! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You All right. Yes, the, yeah. Well, she's the strongest one. She's the oldest. And then and then you. <laughs> Yeah, we'll watch these guys that watch this video in 10, 20 years and go, holy shit, look how little we were. Yeah. Uncle Jerry still had hair. Big, look how big Uncle Jerry was. You're supposed to get me only this way. <laughs> Don't get me sideways. It's bigger. <laughs> yeah. But all, all right. right, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Love you guys. Drive safe. And I'll pray for you. Appreciate sure it. So you have your a safe trip. All right, Navigator. What do you say? <laughs> We're back on the road again.
back on the road again. Um, we just left Uncle Jerry's house. What do you think? We had a fun time with Uncle Jerry, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this is day three. Just left Uncle Jerry's house. We're headed to Tucson. And uh, yeah, we got about two and a half hours of road ahead of us. A couple stops in between, so longer than that. And uh, yeah. We got Bailey on air horn duty right now. Okay, Bailey. fast as I thought he was. He's barely passing me. My arm. Oh, come on, gym girl. I see the shadow. <laughs> Off my arm. She's complaining about her arm being tired. Is he doing it? He doing it? Why is he hogging at you? There it is. <laughs> my arm is slamming against the window. Yeah. We're going to have to have Mario do a little tune up on your left arm. You can't even You can't even pump it for a minute. <laughs> it kept slamming against the window. Well, whose fault is that? The wind. Uh-huh. the scales again I had an idea because I wanted to weigh left and right so we got the two different pads here the rear that's actually the, the trailer axles this is the drive axles for the scale the steer axles is up here you see I staggered off of it I just did the driver side now I moved it over and did the passenger side now I'll know how much weight is on each tire and uh, oh look here comes somebody else gonna weigh their rig <laughs> What's up, Coop? What? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, Jameson. What do we just do and why? We're at the we're at the truck stop again, the new one. So, um, so we uh, weigh the motorhome on left on the left and right side, and one side was heavier than the other, so we moved some weight from. The left side to the right side, and then we moved all the stuff forward. Yeah, we moved uh, what we could forward, so that it puts a little more weight on the front axle, you're correct. And then, yeah, we moved some toolboxes and my flat tire supplies and, you know, bottle jacks and whatnot, jack stands. We moved that over to the passenger side because we we're a little over. So we already knew we were heavy in the rear. But now we know we were heavy on the driver's side. It might be dad. You're supposed to say, no, dad. No, dad. Because <laughs> um, on the driver's side, we have me and these two. But there's also a bunch of stuff underneath. Um, so anyways, so I can't move and the kids can't move. So we tried to shift some weight from the underneath bins on the driver's side over to the passenger side. And then I moved some cases of water forward and... So we're about as balanced as we're going to be. It's only the third day on our trip, so that's why I wanted to make sure we get it dialed in. We're overweight no matter what, but the important thing is, is at least now we're as balanced as we can be. So hopefully we don't cause any extra weight and pressure and temperature on the tires. So the point of all this, for those that might be wondering why I'm going through such a headache, is if you have one quadrant, whether it's the rear, the front, or the left, or the right, overweight it's going to get hotter and higher pressure so anyways it's all to mitigate the chances to lower the chances of a blowout because that's catastrophic on a motorhome um, so it might be for nothing but at least in my brain it's the, the least chance i can have 
of having a blowout because you know what I don't want to do on the side of the road of a highway when it's hot outside? Fix a tire. Fix a tire, yes. Um, but so these are the charts here. I had the lady right, uh, driver's side, passenger. So this is a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but the front front corner has 2680. The rear corner has 4800 on the driver's side. That's just each tire, or um, each position, because the rear is duals. Um, and then this is the front, or this is the passenger side. Front is 2320. So you can even see on the front, passenger side is 2320, and the driver's side is 2680. But there's not really much I can do on the driver's side because there's no bins up there. But, uh, and then the trailer, well, it says trailer because this is the front scale, middle scale, and rear scale, but they have pillars up here, so I can't, uh, I couldn't park up there, so we did it on the rears, the rear two scales. But then the rear 4780 versus, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, 4780 to 4800. So we were pretty close, so we moved over, you know, a few pounds. But more importantly, we moved, most of what we did was move stuff forward. So there we go. This is Picacho Peak State Park. Uh, it's a picture I just took while we were driving the highway. I saw it was a state park. I wanted to just pull over and take like a hike or something. But it's like a legit state park with camping and stuff. So we're stuck on this line. Uh, probably have to turn around. But it's pretty. It's very green right now, that's for sure. Out here in the desert. We'll see what they tell us. Okay, here we are in the valley. Guys, what do you think? It looks like pretty nice. Look at how tall these cactuses are. Like, look at this one next to that car over there. So, it was a few bucks, just paid. We have about an hour. Bailey says we can make it to the top. I don't know if that's true or not, but I like her ambition. Um, but it sure is beautiful. So we're going to go out for a little hike, and then once the sun sets, we got to be out of here. Okay, I'm taking video so you guys don't keep smiling forever. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. But, so, look at how tall this thing is. Ready? Gigante. What do you think, guys? That's... What do you think? That's probably, if you guys are five footers, five, well, Bailey's five, feet. five, 10, 15, 20, 20, that'd be a good 30 footer. I don't know what it is, but it's old. So crazy. Okay. You can't tell that there's two yeah. trains. It's so crazy that there's not that there's, one left. Oh. <laughs> it's so weird on how those engines there's only like two or three and they've all pulled out. Yeah, look at that guys. Okay, let me show the So first of all, Bailey said it looks faded or somebody said it looks faded. Jamie said it's the atmosphere. There's enough air and dust in between us so it looks kinda like a painting. <sighs> but look at this train though. It's out there. Out there, behind this hill here, the hill is creating a train. and still going. And there's another train. Over. Look at that thing! I can't even get the whole train in my picture. But there's our motorhome down there. That big white dot. Ooh, that looks grainy. 10x, not too good. What's 10x? 10 times zoom. But yeah, it does look kind of like a painting. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, before it gets too dark, actually this camera's doing a pretty good job of lightening things. Um, you guys see where we were? Show point up. <laughs> okay, well, we went to the base of this like cliff right here. Oh, it's kind of too dark to focus and stuff. But the, let's focus on my hand. But the base of this cliff right here is where we hiked to. But that's where we went. That's where we are. But we still have to go way down there to the RV. Another train. Whatever this game is we got from the school library. Kids are playing. I don't know what the heck they're doing. I don't think you shuffle very well, James. Well, I'm picking, we're going to have uh, spaghetti tonight with, don't worry about the can, but it's premium chicken breast. And then, uh, whatever this sauce is. Yep, so we're just relaxing. We're in a Walmart parking lot. Seasaw. 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 We'll talk Seasaw. about Walmart in a minute. I, I think Cooper won. He's won Walmart. Bailey, why are we in Walmart in the pants section? Well, funny story. Uh, Dad forgot all of his millions of pairs of pants at home, <laughs> even after thinking about it for half the night before we left. Yeah, I have uh, these lovely Carhartt cargo pants that I live in, and... Uh, so I brought all my pairs home from work, and I was having a little session where I was trying them all on, seeing which one I looked sexiest in. And I had them all laid on my bed, the th my favorite three, and I left them on my bed. So I just have the pants I've been wearing. So we're at Walmart now to get some pants. And I forgot laundry soap too. We don't need it tonight, but I forgot laundry soap. I had a whole strategy and plan, and then I just completely forgot. <laughs> Yeah, but there's, you know. Just so happen to be soap and pants. Yep. Okay, Kehoes. Uh, day three, done. We are on the outskirts of Tucson, south of Tucson. I forget where. I'll show it on the map in a minute. Um, we drove from Uncle Jerry's house this morning. It's like a two and a half hour drive that we somehow made it last all day. No, we spent half the day with him. Probably, we didn't leave his house till I think, like maybe 3, 2.30. I don't remember. It was um, after lunchtime. Yeah, for an hour took forever. Um, but uh, we stopped by the scales. So that's our last scale trip, stop for the trip. Uh, and then uh, the other stop we made was the hike. Because I figured we were just going to get here and hang out, so I might as well make an impromptu stop on the way and go for a hike. So it was a pretty cool hike, huh, Coop? What'd you think? It was good. Yeah, um, Coop, Coop picked the, we had two trailheads to go and Cooper picked the hard one, huh? We didn't, we didn't know. Yeah, um, I thought the Hunter Trail would be easier. Yeah, yeah, but, there was one that was... Like Callaway. Callaway, Callaway yeah. Yeah. Callaway. yeah. But, uh, yes, yeah, so that was fun. Good view, good nature. Get some exercise in. Tomorrow's, mo tomorrow's Monday, so we're going to do some uh, homework, schoolwork, exercise, all kinds of stuff. Back into the grind. But um, what do you say, Bailey? Lots of what? Oh, cactuses. Cact cactuses, yeah. Big some, ones, huh? Yeah, some are like really, really tall. Mm. Some are really tall. Like, um, they were like six times the size of me, probably. Yeah, they're pretty big. Um, and then the, uh, the go-karts are pretty cool, right? We saw the little guys. It's hard to tell once they're all suited up, but the little guys were how old, bud? Do you remember? Seven to 12. So they were little guys. And then they had, um, adults too. Some, some, and there was a, we saw quite a few girls too driving. Um, but there was all kinds of, uh, cart racing. So that was cool. Train was fun. You guys got to drive the one little train. What else did we do? Oh, the RC Air Park. I was bummed out about the RC Air Park. It was a beautiful morning, and nobody was there. Just one dude. So, at that point, I don't know, maybe it was lunchtime-ish, so maybe everybody left for lunch, but I was bummed out. But we saw one plane. So. And he was a good flyer. Yeah, he was pretty good. 
But, uh, it's confusing, like, for left and right, because you don't know if it's going forward, like, at you or backwards. And then, like, since both of the wings, there were white on both sides, it was hard to tell if it was up and down. Well, you could tell yeah. the red was, like, the cockpit. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Well, is there any uh, other nuggets of information you want to talk about? Mm-hmm. I think that was it, huh? We mi- Oh, Cooper, what do we drive by two of? Um... Waffle Waffle House. Yeah. I think this was, yeah. We drive we drove by one, then we saw another a little bit um down the road and then my dad checked if there's any more and of course that was the last one. Yeah. We were gonna cheat a little tonight because it was the first Waffle House we saw and I'd already passed it. And I'm like, oh, man. And then the next one we saw was at the interchange of two highways, two freeways. And I'm like, well, that's going to be a pain in the butt to get to. So then I, ah, oh, whatever. And that ended up being the last one. Not the last one forever, but definitely the last one for today and probably tomorrow. But so we'll get a Waffle House in. We'll get one in one day on this trip for sure. But uh, all right. Well. If they're so good, why don't we have them in California? I don't know. You should start a franchise. Be the first Waffle House on the West Coast. But, um, all right. Well, that's about that, huh, kids? Good night to all. And have a good night. Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.